Of course, one double shot Ragnos knuckle coming right up. <laughs> and make sure you go slow on this one. <laughs> it creeps up on you. You never know when a good drink might wisp you away. Careful now, Cathart. You're already on your second warning. Oh, I know, Ulthar. I promised my best behavior, and I intend to deliver. <laughs> At least, until a time I deem it acceptable to meddle. Meddling is what got you into this position in the first place, Cathart. The other great old ones struggle to understand your fascination with these realms, let alone your insistence on this form we both take. And why did you feel the need to create a familiar to be your barhand? <laughs> I understand you wanted company, but he nearly blew the place up when he tried to mix Ada Venom into the Rachnos salt. That familiar has a name, Ulthar, and his name is Noir. He's still learning. Everyone destroys a few realities when they start. Just be thankful it was only a glass this time. <laughs> You'll never understand, Ulthar. Not until you see what I see firsthand. Uh, what does pandemonium have that this place does not? In comparison, pandemonium is lacking. But enough talk. It appears a new face has entered our bar. Or should I say, an old face in a different context. All of these realms, they seem to blur together these days. <laughs> Welcome to the Eldritch Nomad. Why not take a seat at the bar and leave the day behind? <laughs> I am Cathat, and I shall be your server this evening. Might I have the pleasure of knowing the name of our newest patron? <laughs> New name, same face. No, oh. <laughs> nothing. You'd be surprised how many things run parallel. Now, what can I fix you? Human, you stand in the presence of greatness. Order your drink and be thankful you leave with your sanity intact. And that is what I was talking about, Ulthar. Apologies for him. Ulthar is a... new and somewhat unwelcome addition to our staff here at the Eldritch Nomad. I hope his, uh, outburst has not caused you to lose your thirst. <laughs> As an apology... Have a drink on the house. In fact, I'll even have one with you. How does a... <laughs> white gold amygdala sound? <laughs> You've never had one before. Well, I am not surprised in the slightest. These concoctions are... All of my own creation. <laughs> you might say they're out of this world. In fact, let me mix that up for you now. <sighs> A splash of uh, Xander Root. A shake of rock flower. And uh, 
a dash of the secret ingredient. <laughs> Now just one good shake. Oh, what's that? Oh, for us. <laughs> He's a distant relation. I ran into some trouble in my previous residence and... <laughs> My family thought it best for me to move away from where that trouble was. On their insistence, I migrated here. Of course, a proviso for my continued freedom was that old La had to watch over me. <laughs> but between you and me, you can only watch me for so. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> oh, that is a long and complicated matter that involved a demon that enjoyed being called father. <laughs> uh, I gave some advice without being asked. I shouldn't have done that. In our book, that sort of thing classes as intervening in the affairs of mortal <clears throat> others. My family has a strict policy of non-intervention. That is not all you did, Cathart. The affair with the warlock. You granting power left and right. Little did you realize your actions indirectly created a blood mage. <laughs> Enough, Ulfa. Here is your drink, dear patron. A white gold amygdala. Sweet. Aftertaste accompanied by a rush of spice. Guaranteed to make your face red. <laughs> so tell me, dear patron, what are you doing in this end of sorrows? The south, it is so tumultuous. But I suppose there are fortunes to be made in all the chaos. Tell me, are you a fortune seeker, or has merely the wind brought you this way? <laughs> How marvelous. There is so much to discover when you're away from civilization. It's all a touch contrived, if you ask me. Humans are so much more enjoyable to interact with in their natural environment. A waste of time, if you ask me. What was that, patron? You feel you recognize me. No, you, you couldn't. Not, not in this world. Not, not yet. La last I saw you, it was at another... You were in the hotel. That. Not another word. <coughs> All that you are. Correct. I allowed curiosity to take a stranglehold off me for a moment. Although, we shall chalk your remembrance up to a likeness of another. I do have one of those faces after all. <laughs> Although... If you feel the need to watch over me at the very least, you could be sociable in front of my patrons. Who knows? You may just 
learn something. <laughs> and what could I learn from them? <laughs> no one knows. And that is the joy, you see. You never know what you could discover from a single person. Why not take a moment? <laughs> Noir appears to have started a small fire. <laughs> oh, by the sleeping sister. <sighs> don't look at me, human. I don't have anything to say. <laughs> to believe I, Ulthar, the great watcher, would be given the task of watching over Cathat. <sighs> Still... I suppose there are worse places to be than Cyrus. A place where I found him before you would not believe. Working in a hotel of all places. How do we know each other? That is a long and complicated story. Older than the stars. In short, we have known each other all of our lives. Each member of our family has an obsession, you see. An obsession which defines them. It is a gift and a curse. Some enjoy flame, some madness. And Cathart, well, he enjoys secrets. His issue is that he chooses to become involved when he clearly should not. Although, I suppose that does come with the territory. You see, secrets are like any weapon. If you have it, it's only a matter of time until you use it. <laughs> My obsession. <laughs> you are talkative for a human. Oh, no, it's fine. In fact, I find it rather endearing. Questions give answers, and the pursuit of knowledge always makes for interesting viewing. My obsession is watching. I enjoy watching everything. The good, the bad, everything in between. Of course, the family thought that my love of viewing would make me the perfect candidate to watch over them prevent trouble, try and keep some form of order. But yet they still cause trouble aplenty. <laughs> no, my enjoyment of viewing is not anything like that. I watch because I am intrigued by others. Think about it. Think about your life, the things you love, the things you hate, all of the tiny thoughts and ideas and impulses that make up the choices you make every day. Half of them you don't even remember, and the other half you don't realize you're making. Now, multiply that. Apply it to everyone. Every last living person in this world. Everyone has an intricate and as detailed a life as one another. I can't help but find that beautiful. Each person is a walking tapestry of emotion and ties to one another. Thus forming a greater whole and thus forming a greater whole. The ties that bind, the ties
eyes that blind. Tell me, can't you see the beauty in that? An intricate tapestry of life. The way I see things is different to others. For example, you're here because you want company. Not a drink, you were strolling by and this place took your fancy. Maybe the front grabbed you, maybe it was an impulse. But either way, you made a choice and you're here now. There are probably several thousand other alternative versions of you, which have already left. Half of which before I've even finished this sentence. Maybe they lost interest. Maybe they stopped caring, but you stayed. You stayed because you want company on your own terms. You made a conscious choice. You haven't left yet because you find... You find yourself intrigued. You've always been more curious than is good for you. Of course, I could go on, but... Cathart tells me it's incredibly rude. Ugh. Well, it appears Noir's small blaze quickly grew, and apparently he wished to know what fire tasted like. <laughs> it's hard to believe that something born of me could be so foolish. Yes, so very hard to believe. And Ulfa, what is that look you're giving up? Patron, could it be that you have uh, learned something? <laughs> Never. I simply spoke with them. And thus gained an understanding of their perspective while also teaching them yours. Why, Alpha, you social butterfly, you've surpassed my expectations. If you're so fond of them, Kathat, why not ask them to help with that little problem you've been having? Hmm? Not now, Ulfa. Why not let them stay the night? The hour is growing late, and <laughs> we have an unused guest room above the bar. Stay a night, my treat. And you poor thing, you haven't touched your drink. I see Ulfa held you verbally hostage. <laughs> Here, let me pour myself one. And I suppose that one's on the house too. Oh, there we are. Cheers, dear patron. To old faces and new adventures. And have a good night, stay. I have a feeling we'll be seeing a lot more of you.